This is an instructional guide on how to use Drishti's smart firm retinal camera rig. This is the packaging that the retinal attachments will come in. This first piece is the retinal camera attachment that is going to clip onto our iPhone. It has the lens and the mirror and it's housed in a plastic casing. Here is the actual casing that are, is going to go on our phone. Uh, you will place the retinal camera on that and we'll show you how to place this onto the actual iPhone in a second. And as you can see, it clips out so you can place the iPhone in. Here we have the actual iPhone. The iPhone 7 is the only model that will work for this system currently. Uh, so to place the iPhone in, we are just going to place it in and uh, surround it properly. And then at the end, we will clip on the last piece to secure it. And it's just a metal clamp, so when you, you can unhook it and hook it. Now we will place the retinal camera attachment onto the casing. So the casing has two little pegs and two magnets, and those align with the two magnets and two holes on the retinal camera. The application we're going to use to take retinal images is called the DI 2.0. I'll leave a link in the description. And once you have it downloaded, you can just open it. Once we open the app, there's a login and sign up page. If you don't have an account, you should sign up. Uh, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in for the purpose of the video. Once we're logged in, we're going to click new review, and this is going to allow us to get new image acquisitions. So you can enter your patient information. Uh, and you can choose the diabetes type and whether or not they're insulin dependent, which will be good to track their health records. So we can obviously take images with both right and left eyes. Um, here's how you would switch. You press OD or OS. And then to take a photo or video, you would press new acquisition. For, uh, for our demo, we're going to use multi-shot, which takes multiple photos. And we're going to take five just for the video. And you can change the settings. So then you're going to choose they have a dilated eye. And then you're going to choose a refractive error, which you should already know. And then we'll take an image and it'll take about five. Once we're finished, we'll go to the acquisitions and we'll look at all our different acquisitions. We'll choose the best one and then we're gonna press the share button in the bottom right and save the image to the iPhone. And then after that, you'll have to transfer it to the computer for diagnosis with the app. So now we're gonna place the phone into the phone mount on the retinal rig. So the phone mount is a white piece that holds the iPhone. And on the iPhone, there's a piece of Velcro which aligns with the piece of Velcro on the phone mount. So we're gonna place it in and make sure those align and then we'll press in the edges to make sure that it's secure. It, if you flip it over, it's not gonna fall out in this position, especially with the Velcro. So we can flip it around and look at the front and make sure the camera is aligned and make sure nothing is obstructing it. And now we see it's good. Now we're gonna show you the adjustability of the retinal camera rig. So there's four points of movement and there's two slides, uh, two slide bars. And to move those, you're gonna to have to unscrew the screws a little bit so they're loose. And I already have them unscrewed. So the first point of movement is the chin rest, which slides left and right in order to move the patient. The second point of movement is the chin rest holder, which moves up and down to adjust the patient to make sure their forehead is on the padding at the top. The third point of movement is the phone slide, as that slides left and right to adjust to the eyes. And the fourth point of movement is the top bar, which is gonna move back and forth in order to get the right distance from the camera to the eye. And this is not gonna move very far, but that's how you do it. Lastly, we will show you how to use the retinal camera with the patient. So if they have glasses, they should take those off. Then they should self adjust the chin rest slide so that their forehead is on the padding and their chin is on the chin rest. Then you as the operator should move the slide as close as possible to the eye so that, and then adjust the slide so that we can actually see the retina on the phone. And then we can take the picture as we showed earlier. Once you're done with the right eye, you can start with the right eye, then you will shift over to the left eye You'll have to slide the phone and maybe the chin rest, depending on wherever the patient is positioned. And then you will do the same procedure, take the image in the same way that we showed earlier, 